Hey guys, Henry from Adventure Air is here. I'm back from my trip. I was on the East Coast. Well, I guess I was in Tennessee, a quite East Coast, but uh, I was in Tennessee training a guy in his uh, new Cavalon, uh, David Breeding. He did a great job, and I got him to solo, and so now he's doing some solo time out there. And uh, by the way, too, if you do not live in the Southern California area, and uh, you have a, a gyroplane and would like some training on it, uh, I am willing to travel, and so is Pete, my other instructor. And uh, so give us a call, and we will come to you and do some fun training, uh, like I did with David for a week. Also, if you are in the Hawaii area on Oahu, uh, we have a good friend of ours, Jay, uh, from Skyland Air, and he is uh, a uh, FAA-certified flight instructor for gyroplanes, and he is uh, doing some flight instruction and little trips around the island there, around Oahu, and it is so gorgeous out in Hawaii. Uh, if you happen to be in that area, uh, look up Skyland Air, and uh, give Jay a call and go fly with him, and you will not regret it. It is absolutely gorgeous on the north shore of Oahu. Uh, woo, shout out to Jay. All right, so we're here, we're about to let Jeremy do his radio call, and we've got information Lima, and so, Jeremy, take it away, buddy. Okay. Chino Ground, Jarrah Copter 232 Papa Golf at Eagle's Nest 2 with Lima. Uh, ready to taxi to the active for pattern work. So, 232 Papa Golf, Chino Ground, runway 26 right, taxi via Mike Delta Alpha, cross runway 21 at Alpha, you'll be following a citation, caution jet blast. Clear to taxi and notes on the uh, citation for jet blast, 232 Papa Golf. And you didn't say where you're going. 232 Papa Golf, just verify, hold short runway 26 right. Hold short 26 right at 232 Papa Golf. Thank you. All right, so don't forget when you call ground, they're going to give you a whole bunch of stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Look out for traffic, and here's your routing and all that. The thing that they care most about is where are you going? So you have to say your destination, 26 right, and your call sign, 232 Papa Golf, in the same sentence, or the tower will call you back and make you say it again. So the whole Mike Delta Alpha cross runway 21 is nice to repeat to the tower, but what they have to hear is the runway and your call sign. By the way, I do have the hat on. It is close to Christmas, so I will say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays uh, to everybody out there from Adventure Air. Citation 6 Tango Tango Cross, runway 26 right at Papa. Continue taxiing via Papa. That's the one. So we got some weather coming in here to Southern California. I know that's pretty rare, but uh, we have weather coming in. It's supposed to rain starting in a couple of hours here for the next three days. So we're trying to get some flights in before the weather comes in. And Jeremy is so excited to do more pattern work because he loves pattern work, I'm telling you. Got to get those takeoffs and landings down. down. <laughs> that's right. All right, we're coming on runway 21 here. So we have been cleared to cross it, but I like to look both ways anyway. Just for the heck of it. I don't see anybody on my side. Is your side clear? Clear on this side. Awesome. Heading to the run up area. So should my RPM still be around two right now or no? Yeah, on the taxi, you don't have to because you're be adding power and braking at the same time. So it's gonna put a little stress on the brakes. And as you know, if we get there and there are no brakes, then we have to shut her down. Okay. So I would just say if you're sitting for a prolonged amount of time, Rotex recommends you warm up at 2,000 because lower than that, it's going to shake that gearbox. Don't want to do that. They want to rope. They, they'd love for you to do that so they can sell you a new gearbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They'd be like $6,000, please, for that new gearbox. That was a question somebody was about to ask in the comments. Oh, well, how about your gearboxes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, because I had to replace one. Wee! It wasn't me. <laughs> Wee! <-hee. laughs> All right, we're pulling up to this Cessna here. All righty. Yes. They do not have Santa hats on. They are not quite as uh, festive as we are here. 
Okay, so we are at the run-up area. We are at the run-up area. What do we do at the run-up area there, Jeremy? Warm up at 2,000 RPM. All right, we're warm. warming up just a little bit more. A little more power there. Okay. Now, here's the other thing. If you go to 2,500 in warm-up, before the water temperature is ready, you will get a lane B warning light. It'll come on and be flashing at you. If that happens, you back the throttle off a little bit, and then you recycle the lane B light to get it to shut off. Okay. Control check, left and right. Control check, just the left and the right. We never pull the stick back under 200 RPM, so we don't chop off our tail and our prop. Okay, so Rotex does not necessarily recommend that you do a lane check, uh, because basically, because we are a fuel-injected engine, uh, we don't have carbs, but we are literally shutting down computers in the, uh, the check. They claim if you don't have any warning lights on, uh, you do not have to do a lane A and B check. Um, I know a lot of pilots like to do them anyway, and so the, I don't see any harm in it. So I say we can do a lane A, B check. So we're just going to run the throttle on this 915 engine up to 2,500, and we'll turn lane A off and see what happens. Boom. We'll get a light on that says the lane A is off. Drop in RPMs? Yeah, it's not, not even much of a drop in RPMs, really. See, you turn it back on, there's really no change. Okay. The lane A clears itself, then you can do the lane B. Always let the lights turn off before you shut another one off. All right, now your lane B warning light is on. You'll also lose a couple of instruments over here on the side because they are wired together. Lane B back on. The lane B warning light should come off. Okay, whole temperature is greater than... And let's back it down to 2,000. Okay. There we go. All right, what, that one on the oil temperature there? Greater than 120. Greater than 120 on the inside scale there. The outside scale is Celsius, and I don't know how much Celsius is, but the inside scale is Fahrenheit. We are above 120. So we are happy. Also, our oil pressure is good and our water temperature is good. All in the green. Okay. Uh, next will be taxi to runway and then turn the second fuel pump on. So let's do it. Let's pull in behind this Cessna boy here. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Oh. Pull that in. There you go. Again, taxiing, you don't have to be at 2,000. You can be under. So tower again is 118.5. Paradise, All right, let's pull up to the line. Hundred indicated. Pierce headed towards Corona. Head on them. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to just turn towards Paradise. That'll put you behind the traffic. Oh, yeah, I have these. I have these Mickey Mouse ears on my hat too. <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're up at the uh, hold short line here for two six right. We're going to do right close traffic, correct? Yes. Uh, go ahead and turn on your second fuel pump there. Let's close your door. The front latch you're going to have to play with. It might not uh, kind of pull the handle about halfway back. I have your brakes here. Kind of, kind of get it in there. Nope. Nope. There you go. Tail is in. All right. You want to take your brake back? Brakes. All right. Oh, here's the plane landing, so we're going to wait before we make the, the tower call. I personally don't like calling the tower until I see the if there's traffic about to land, uh, just because all he's going to say is hold short of two six right. So I wait till I see no traffic and the guy's starting to pull off the runway. Three nine echo previous day of traffic, one then to we, two o'clock and a mile and a half. Then we make the call. Indicated southwest on frequency change approved. All right. Change approved. All right, he's turned. Four zero November. When able, turn early cross on runway two six left. Clear for the option. Turning crosswind. Two six left. Clear for the option. Four zero November. November three seven Juliet. Contact ground point six. Whenever you are ready, my friend. Okay. Cessna eight X ray Delta left turn approved. Eight X ray Delta left turn approved. Chino Tower, Tower Copter two 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 Papa Golf, uh, holding short two six right, ready for takeoff. Uh, close traffic. Gyro 232 Papa Golf, Chino Tower, make right closed traffic, runway 26 right, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 26 right, 232 Papa Golf. All right, and you could have said right closed traffic too, but oh well, it's okay. All right. All right, let's see what old Jeremy has learned here in his many, many years, decades of gyro flying. Let's see, uh, let's see what he's doing here. Yeah, yeah, decades. <laughs> dog, dog years. <laughs> dog years, that's right. House ears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, pull it onto the runway here. We're gonna get to the center line. Looking down the runway. All right, we're gonna forget about that checklist for a moment. You're gonna keep your right hand on the stick at all times. Release this, do not set the parking brake. Just reach up and put us in flight mode. You set the parking brake anyway. Sorry. All right. Because if you set it and then you go back and you don't release it, then you'll be stuck here and it'll be uh, uh, not fun. All right, so uh, we are come up a little on the power, just under 2,000 RPM. You can go through this checklist if you wish. Flight mode, throttle to 2,000. And pre-road. He's holding down the pre-road. It does take a second or two for it to engage and start spinning up. As the power kind of bogs the engine down, he's going to add a tiny bit of power to maintain about 2,000 RPM. We're watching the rotor speed now. Climb. And we want to get that up to the magic number of 200 RPM before we pull the stick back. We're about 180 now. 190. A little more power. There's 200. So four steps. Thumb off the button. Stick back and center. Release the brakes. Add power. All right. He's on the pedals. Keeping us straight down the runway. Waiting for the 300 RPM of the rotor so the nose lifts off the ground. Here comes 300, it sticks a little to the right, so a little left. There's the there's the wheel balance right there. Oh, there you go. When he's ready to take off, he's gonna go full power. Nose down, left stick, left stick, there you go. People are stronger pulling to the right, so people generally pull to the right on most of the most of the time on the Cavalog. Add trim up to six. Pull down till six, you got no trim. That's why we're doing 85 miles an hour now. Let's go to 60, which is our best climb speed. Stick back. Stick, Ooh, stick back. I don't know. Uh, Sorry. Add just, trim to six. It just feels so weird doing that. There we go. Now we're good. No red exit up, though, for me to change the See, look at that. 60 to 70 miles an hour. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. We're climbing up to 1,400 feet, which is pattern altitude. You can start your crosswind turn. Yeah, you're still flying 85. Let's do 60. Pull that stick back. Pull 60, 60, 60. Oh, 60, 60. Sorry. Yeah. There you go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now we're climbing. 60 is our best climb speed, by the way, y'all. So, y'all. See, I said y'all because I've been in Tennessee for a little while. <laughs> Coming up to 1,400 feet. Back the power off. Back, back, back to 4,500, right about there. Start our downwind turn to the right. 1,400, 70 miles an hour, turning onto the downwind, looking good. Woo! <laughs> Did you guys miss me or what? <laughs> All right. Yeah, you guys, have, if you, I don't know if you can see out the window the clouds here, it's starting to get a little, a little funky, so uh, we're going to keep an eye on the rain. Look at Jeremy flying at 1,465 knots on the downwind. Perfect. Waiting for the tower to call us. What will that tower say, Jeremy? Uh, Jar copter 232 Papa Golf, clear for clear to land. Run my yep, clear for the option. Clear for the option, yeah. Remember, if the tower says clear to land only. Two pump of golf from with two six right, clear for the option. Two six right, clear for the option. Two 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 pump of golf. If the tower says clear to land, four, zero, you have to land and get off the runway. Clear if he says option. clear for the option, you have the option to do pretty much anything you want. You can do a stop and get off the runway. You can do a touch and go. You can do a low pass. It just opens up the option for you to do anything you want. Uh, on the landing, uh, except crash. No, no crash landing. So don't, don't do that. All right. So we have been cleared, and Jeremy's just about to make his base turn now. On the base, I like coming off the power a little bit because we definitely want to come down. No, lower your nose as well. We want to keep that 60 going too. Woo! All right. Clearing my traffic, don't see anybody on final. The tower should have warned us, but we like to check anyway. Turning on to final. Nice. All right, watch your airspeed. Let's keep it at 60, nose down. 
So when I'm on uh, final, the two th most important things I look at is airspeed. Am I at 60 or better? And am I straight down the runway? My toes are on the pedals, so I can make a little correction if I need to, to keep that nose perfectly stayed on landing. Okay, we got a lot of airspeed here. Let's pull the power back, put the nose up, and we'll come down around 60. The slower you can land, the, the easier your landing is going to be. If you're coming out at 80 or 90 and slam it on the runway, you're going to have trouble. Just just fly it down at 50 to 60. There we go. You're just going to plane it out about a foot off the ground and wait. Be patient. Then stick back a little more. Look at that. Keep that nose off the ground as long as we absolutely can until it just sets on the ground. Are you ready to do another one? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm taking your trim off just so you know. Okay. Stay on the center line, buddy. Get there. Coming up to 300 RPM, that means the uh, nose is coming up. There it is, nose down. Left stick, right pedal. There it is. Full power when you're ready to go take off. Oop, left stick, there you go. Up we climb, add your trim up to six, pull down. Don't touch the runway again. <laughs> That's why I gotta keep that back pressure until you get this, you're taking pressure off. Oh, sorry. Down is on. That's why we're, is on. we're picking up speed. Back that stick up, back, 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 more back. Pull up, let's go to 60. There it is. Uh, up we climb. Got your, got your, your uh, trim in. What do you guys think? Do I talk too much or what? Should no. I just shut up and let Jeremy do his no, thing? No, 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 no. I like it. <laughs> All right, let's turn our crosswind. I'll tell you what, it's a lot warmer here in California than it was in Tennessee. Tennessee was in the 30s. And uh, I'm kind of used to the California 70s. <laughs> I think it's in the 70s today, isn't it? Is it kind of warm? It's it's a little bit below 70, yeah. All right, I'll take it. Okay, we're pattern altitude 1400. He's gonna pull the throttle back to 4500 RPM, which is... Then we're two pop golf runway 26 right, clear for the option. That for us? That's us. Clear for the option, 26 right, 222 pop golf. Nice. Yeah, you kind of develop this hearing. I call it the mom, the mom hearing. Like mothers can always hear when their kids are hurt or crying, you know, or call out to them. Um, I call it the mom hearing in the gyros. You listen for your call sign. So I kind of try to phase out all the stuff the tower guy says, except when he says to Papa Golf. Then I'm like, what? And then you kind of listen in. So the tower has cleared us for the option. When Jeremy has the right feeling for it, he will make his base turn. Over the trees, right? Wherever you are pilot in command, wherever you feel we should turn base. As you turn base, keep that nose down. We want to keep that airspeed at 60. Down, okay. You can come off the power a little more if you want. If you come off the power too much and you descend too quickly, just add a little power back. Fly it to the runway. And the way that I teach the landings is you just First, don't worry about the landing at all. Just fly down to one foot off the ground. Just fly me down to one foot off the ground. Then we can talk landings. All right, you're overshooting your 2-6 right. Oh, we don't want to overshoot too much because we'll be on the other runway and then they won't like it. All right, airspeed to 60. Just put the nose down, don't add power. All right, you're speeding up. So let's kind of back on the power, up on the nose. There we go. Nice and slow. Your toes are on the pedals. We're yep. keeping it nice and straight. Keep coming down. Nose down. Get that 60 going. Port of zero November runway, 26 left. Clip for the option. 26 left, clip for the option. Port of November. Get down to a foot. There's a foot. Nice and easy. Slowly come back on that stick. A little more. Oh my God, this is going to be so nice. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Butter. Keep that nose off the ground as long as you can. Boom. All right, off we go. I'm taking your trim off just so you know. Okay, and that goes up right. again, right? So your stick's a little more left, a little more right pedal. Look at when the nose comes up. Boom. Just right there. Nose down. Nose uh -oh. down. Uh -oh. All right. Keep. Don't pull back on that stick. Oh, You're pulling that nose up. You let the machine do it full power. Okay. When the machine is ready, it'll just come off the ground. Yeah, on the ground, we don't pull the stick back to take off like in an airplane. You're actually pushing the stick forward. Add your trim. Pull down. Pull down. 
to the west at uh, 2,200. Request. All right, that's good enough. Traffic option. Read the information, beep. November 7650, Zulu, Chino Tower. Make left traffic for runway 26 left. Runway 26 left. Clear option. 7 left, Charlie Alpha number two follows Cessna, short final runway 26 left, clear for the option. On the crosswind, not to turn downwind. Charlie Alpha, Charlie Golf, runway 26 right, clear for the option, turn base, inside the wash. 2 3 Clear for the option, 26 right, we'll turn inside uh, the wash to Papa Golf. All right, what's our altitude there, buddy? Uh, we're all walking. Back, power back, nose down. I'll drop back down to 14. Are you getting discombobulated? Kind of. <laughs> all right. He threw that, he threw that. Uh... All he said was just turn before the wash. Which okay. means, yeah. So when the tower tells you a bunch of stuff, if you don't understand it, just say, please repeat. Or could you say again, tower? And he'll be happy to tell you again. Where's the wash out of here? Way out there. Turn her left yeah, day. okay. Yeah, I was uh, like... Three mile left base from way to the clock. It three mile left base. Uh, I know. All right, so we're going to do an early crosswind. Let's turn crosswind now. Around, uh, when you turn an early crosswind, you come off the power earlier because you definitely want to get down if you're pretty close to the runway. Chino Tower, we're keeping our, north our north nose down for that 60. Northeast of the field, they just lean by inbound full stop. Looking good. Are, Are you holding that four, stick three, tightly or not? Tower. Oh, it's kind of, yeah. <laughs> Continuing on with the justice heading for you momentarily for traffic. That's so cool. Just point it out to me and it's On to final return. Okay, we'll continue present heading, and uh, we will wait for your call for Bonanza. Lining up for the center line again. Three, four, Lima, so just heading 240 for a full right downwind runway. Two, Call you. Right. Okay, uh, two, down. Two, uh, 240 for the downwind line. for 26 right. But right there. Four, three, four, Lima, down to a foot, slowly back. So we can pull back super slow right here just to set those wheels on the ground. Give you that nose off the ground as long as we can. Oh. All right, ready to go again? Yeah, let's do it again. All right, trim's off. Stay on the center line. Here we go. Let me check your stick. Oh, it's looking okay. You might have a tiny bit on the right, but a little less. Remember, if they will make sure approach. Right, right pedal stick. when that nose lifts off. Right pedal, pull hard. Nose down. Do not pull back on the stick. Okay. More power. Left stick. Look how nice that was. To the power line. <laughs> add your trim. Pull down. Add your trim. Up to six. Uh, three, uh, seven, Charlie, Alpha. You guys see? Actually, continue upwind. I'll call your crosswind for sequence. You'll come across crosswind. Two, three, two, Papa Golf. Are you guys see a, a pattern here? A pattern? <laughs> Climb out at 60. Pull back on that stick. Papa Golf as well. Extend upwind. I'll call your crosswind. Extend upwind. Call your call my cross. Two, three, two, Papa Golf. There are three, four, Lima. Previous stated traffic is no factor. They're east of the threshold. Eastbound, 2,400. You can uh, join the north and downwind, right traffic runway 26 right, clear to land your number one. Okay, north downwind uh, for 26 right, clear to land, Bonanza 4434. And Chino Tower, Bonanza 1400, we, back uh, that power down, 4500. Just want to make sure north downwind, uh, could you, could you, can we get vectors, please? Right there. Three, four, Lima, affirmative, turn eastbound, so just heading zero, nine, or So the tow zero, tower told right us to down. keep flying, so he'll call our crosswind. Okay, zero for downwind, two, six, right, Bonanza 443, four, four, Lima, thank you. So two, nine, one, turn eastbound. Star two, Bob Golf, turn right crosswind. Right crosswind, two, three, two, Bob Golf. Number three, four, Lima, the field's at your three to four, a mile and a half. Your number one, runway two, six, right, clear to land, wind comp. Inside two, six, right, clear to land, but that's a four, four, three, four, Lima. Thank you. That's a two, nine, one, turn base. Number two, follow a stationaire approaching south of being the numbers. Runway two, six, left, clear for the option, and left, close traffic. Number two, look for traffic. Is he going to call my downwind or no? Nope. Okay. All right, so number two, 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 number two, follow Bonanza half mile final runway two six right, cleared for the option. Following the ban Bonanza number two, 
uh, clear for landing or clear for the option two feet. Two six right, two three two, two Papa Golf. So it's a four. Then remember, nice. extend upwind. Nice. Traps you're following is in a wide downwind. <laughs> up beam the power lines. One thousand three hundred indicated, approximately eleven o'clock. So we have a lot of nice little uh, prisons here in Chino. We're about to fly over one of the Chino prisons right now, and let me look down in the yard. I do see some of the prisoners down there. I'm just going to drop a file out the window as we fly over the prison for the prisoners. <laughs> Give them something to do. All right, here goes the file for the prisoners. Shoot. Here it goes. Down. <laughs> Very appreciative. A little smile, a little wave. Let's be on the left side of the road up here. That's the four zone. Remember, the traffic you're following is passing off your left. That's traffic inside four zone, November. Thank you. Uh, all right, altitude. Two, nine, one. Let's go up to 1400. The following is on a short base to final turn, your number two. Uh, good luck, number two. Number two, nine, one. When able, turn direct to the numbers. And number two, runway two, six left, the option. Guys, what do you think? Does Jeremy look stressed or what? One, two, zero, <laughs> point one, two. It got two, zero, busy one, on the air all of a sudden. Like, yeah. Sometimes that happens. Yeah. Nice thing, guys, if you learn here. Number seven, Charlie. If you Austin, learn here in Chino with the tower. Eight, in. Runway two, six left. At a tower airport, change once you learn this, you can fly pretty much anywhere. One, two. Only two, six left. And... Uh, number three, all of the dead nine, uh, changes your frequency one to zero point one two uh, three uh, seven channel alpha. Two nine one, thank you. So the four zero number your number three now. Follow with the Cessna heading the downwind runway two six left for the option. Change my frequency one two zero point one two. Every once in a while, I check our our temperature gauges, oil and water temperature, and a little pressure are all good. So he said we're number two. Did you see number one land, by the way? No, I did. Zero five north of Kilo. We're at Prodigan at one thousand five hundred, looking for two one north of Alpha with me, Bob. So if you're not sure, under three zero five north of Kilo, Chino Tower, turn due eastbound, and I'll get back. You should ask the tower. Hey, tower, am I number one? Two Bob Golf. Oh, I do see some traffic over here. Thanks. I'll get you in by momentarily. But he may be on the other red line. Oh yeah, I see the downwind traffic. November oh, seven know. six five zero Zulu changed my frequency one two zero point. But is he on the other runway or is he on our runway? I can't tell. Frequency one two zero five. Two five zero zero. Zero five zero Zulu. Disregard the frequency change. Turn right crosswind. Turn right right now. Make right yeah. traffic runway two six right. Uh -huh. Make a right traffic for us to six right, right cross right cross eight uh, cross eight tower five zero zero. Tower two zero two, Papa Golf. Multiple aircraft are in the south pattern. Three Cessnas, I believe. Your base is approved. Traffic's parting a champ. Runway two six right, clear for the option. Two six right, clear for the option. Two zero two, Papa Golf. Nice. Number five number kilo. Remain east of the wash for a left base. And you wanted two one north south. Is that correct? Uh, it's available. We'll take it. Thank you. Remain east of the wash. Multiple aircraft are in the south pattern. A left base for runway 26 right for now, and then I'll get you to 21 once you're north of the center line. Uh, to that, uh, if it helps, we can uh, take 26 right for the first pass, and 21 north of Alpha after that on the hill. Kind of busy here today. Uh, uh, I can accommodate that. Enter a left base east of the wash for runway 26 right. Face east of the wash for 26 right, fire for Kino. 2012, 25 echo. Crap, you're in sight. Thank you. November 7650 Zulu, I will call your base. You'll call proper base, 7650 Zulu. Nice. Center tower, turn to 7661 with you. Short and roaming 26 right for power, ready for takeoff. 7661 with you, 10 tower, you're. You're doing alright? Correct. <laughs> Yeah, no, 761 yeah, with you without delay, cross runway 26 right, hold short runway 26 right. He's going to cross in front of us. He'll call us and let us know that. Yeah. There were two Papa Golf traffic's crossing the Cherokee. Got it inside, 222 Papa Golf. Thank you. There were 61 with you as soon as I have a contact, Tower South, 120.12, 2012, please. Holy. 61 with you, contact Tower South. All right, it's going to be all of you. I'm going to close my eyes. No, don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> November 50 Zulu bases at your discretion. Number two, follow a gyro short final runway 26 right, clear for the option. Runway 24. Uh, Alright, 26 right, how do you lose gyro? Uh, 
Clear for the other fighter. I'll close. I'll close one eye. <laughs> <laughs> Fly me down to a foot. That's your first thing. Don't worry about the, where we land. Just fly me down to a foot. Got a five for Back to power now. We're still at 4,000. Whoa, well, not too fast. North You're going to swing to the right. Straight down. Back on the stick, slowly. Back on the stick. Back, back, back. All right. Bonk. I like a five for kilo. All right, one more time. Off we go. You're following yeah. just inside the wash. Turn base. Number two. Now, when your nose comes up, on a right base, don't on. let it come up too Only much. Right clear to land. First. And you're going to give a right pedal, a right pedal hard, nose down, and then add your power to power to full. Keep the nose down and just wait. And see how it just nicely comes off the runway there? Yeah. Yeah. No pulling that stick back. Pulling the stick back is just going to slow you down, and you're going to set it back down on the runway. You only pull back once you've reached 60 miles an hour, and you do a slow climb out. See now my now my takeoff was not it was not yeah. bad at all. But yeah. how, how much were you on it right there? Yep, turn your crosswind. All right, this next landing is going to be Jeremy's most perfect landing. <laughs> Gyro two three two bubble golf number two. Follow a helicopter. Uh, Robinson over the wash turning final runway two six right cleared for the option. Calling the Robinson for number two, two six right, two 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 Papa Golf. Clear for the option. All right. Five room kilo traffic doctor left for the parallel runway stuff. Inside five room Oh, I got my throttle in the right spot. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Forty five hundred. Look, we're nice and fourteen hundred straight and level. Awesome. So there's a Robinson coming in. Yep. So we're number two. We'll keep an eye out for that Robinson. My ears hitting the ceiling here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do slow flight. Let's go to 40. So how do we do slow flight? We're gonna back the throttle off, we're gonna pull the nose up. That slows us down to 40. We're kind of waiting for the Robinson. Now, if we don't want to climb, oh, you got him? Yeah, he's right awesome. Here. He's crossing the threshold of 26 left. Oh, nice. There we go, there's 40 to 1400. Perfect. Oh yeah, he's like dive bombing the runway. Yeah, he's coming down pretty good. All right, well, we're gonna give the Robinson just a smidge of room. You can put the nose down back to 60, back the power off a little bit. There you go. When you start flying a bit, you guys will notice the sound of the engine. I can hear the sound of the engine and know if it's straight and level or if it's low or high or whatever. Then you can make a determination whether you need to go down or up or what. It's kind of like when you first learn to drive a car. You remember you're all freaking out, your hands are on the steering wheel. Once you learn to drive, you know, people drive with a hand and they're like combing their hair and looking out the window and, you know, talking on their phone, which they shouldn't be. You'll get the same way with the gyro where you just can fly it by feel. Kilo traffic. Uh, heading towards your right, the stage. And you won't have to stare at all the instruments and things all the time. I'm way two one north of Alpha. It's it's important to be looking out the windows a lot and see what's going on out there. All right, and I'm gonna let the tower know. As soon as I get a break, we're gonna full stop. This is one five three nine Chino Tower, enter left base fifteen three runway two six right. I'll have you speak. And let's land out at the intersection of the two runways. Okay. Two six right. And tower two Papa Golf, we're gonna full stop. Two, 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 pop golf. Roger, runway two, three, clear to land. Clear to land, two, six, right, two, pop golf. All right. Now, all you watching this video, watch Jeremy's perfect landing right now. No pressure. <laughs> Come on down. Back the power down a bit. Approved wind call. If you don't make that intersection, don't worry. Station air. Right five, here. Zero, zero, Back the stick up one. slowly. Clear for the option. Back the stick. A little more. Ball jump. A little more. Push it right. Seven to five. Oh my God, that was a nice one. Back on the stick. Jared, two bubble golf. Wow. Contact ground point six. Ground point six, two bubble golf. All right, stick full forward. Rotor brake on brake. Start pumping it up. Pull down to pump it up. Pull down. And we're gonna contact uh, ground. Guys, you witnessed it. Jeremy's perfect landing. Uh -uh. What am I thinking? I did not do that. I swear, I only did. I barely. I just had my hand on it. I was just covering him, but he did all that by himself. He did. Oh, no. He did. I didn't. Really, I really didn't do anything. All right, we're not off the runway till we cross this double yellow line. 
we pumped up the rotor in uh, the rotor brake. We're waiting for it to slow down. We'll stop right here. Let's go ahead and flip us to the ground control. Boop. Keep your right hand on the stick. There you go. We do that because we want to always keep the stick into the wind. The wind is kind of nothing now. If you're unsure of where to keep the stick position, it should be centered. If you ever feel the stick going, whoa, 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 that's the start of a blade flap. And wherever your stick position is, you want to put it in the opposite place because you do not want to get a, a progressive blade flap that's going to get worse and worse and worse. Okay. Are you want to make the ground call or you want me to do it? Uh, I'll let you do it this time. All right. You know, ground gyro 232 Papa Golf off 26 right to Eagle's Nest. Check two three two Papa Golf, Chino Ground, taxi via Delta Mike. Good day. Delta Mike, two Papa Golf. All right, off we go. You're, it's fine to taxi with the rotor turning, just be extra careful, you know? Now we're playing roulette, where's the blade gonna stop? Let's see if we go around once more, we pull back to kind of release the pressure on the blade. Here it comes, we start pushing it forward. What? Dude, almost on the line. <laughs> By the way, if you guys come and train here with us at Adventure Air, I do have a number of instructors, and I do think it's really important to fly with different instructors. Different instructors are going to emphasize different things that they like, and you get a, a well-rounded education by flying with different people, different instructors. Everyone's going to have their own little thing that they like and don't like, and uh, you just will get a, a, great, a great level of instruction by flying with other instructors. I agree. I got taxiing down. Yeah. <laughs> you did a good job, buddy. All right. Yeah, that la I swear to you, that last landing was all you. I really didn't do anything. Okay. All right, guys, while we're taxiing back, I'm just going to say thanks for watching our videos again. And um, please come out and see us here at Chino. And uh, happy holidays to everyone uh, from me and from Jeremy. From Jeremy. <laughs> Have a great day. We will see you. See ya.